Autoflow in Affinity Publisher allows you to flow content across a series of automatically generated pages. The process can be used to place text, images and PDFs into your document. First, let's take a look at using Autoflow with text. Text Autoflow automatically generates text frames and pages to accommodate text. This feature is useful when importing large bodies of text, like stories or reports. Here I have a single page A4 document and I want to insert a large body of text to format for printing. I'll select the Frame Text tool and drag out a text frame. Then I'll tap Place and Place from File and locate my document. We can see that my text frame has been filled with the text from the document. Unsurprisingly, we can see that the frame contains overflowing text, which we can view if we tap the eye icon. If I tap the small red triangle next to it, I could then manually draw out a linked text frame. However, if I hold Shift on the command controller and then tap the red arrow, it will automatically flow the remaining text onto new pages, replicating the size and style of the first text frame. In this case, it has populated the document with the entire book, which is 52 pages, saving us a lot of time. As well as flowing text into text frames, we can also flow images and PDFs into picture frames. I'll show you an example of this. I'll go back to the Live Docs view and open this wildlife document. Here I have set up pages 10 and 11 for a spread of competition entries. I've created 20 picture frames to place the entry images into. I'll tap the Place tool and select Place from File. I'll go into the Competition Entries folder and select all the images in the folder. There are 40 images here, but that won't be a problem. I'll tap Open to bring them all onto the Place panel. I can tap Individual Images to choose which ones to place next, or I can enable Multi-Select to select particular ones. I'll select all of the images and tap the first picture frame. Not only has it automatically populated all 20 picture frames on the page immediately, but it has also duplicated the layout of picture frames and continued to place the rest of the images onto the document. Autoflow is also really useful for creating print layouts and proof sheets that involve repeated images like business cards, name tags and event passes. Here I have a document that has 10 picture frames drawn out and these frames are the standard UK business card size. I'll use these frames to flow out a set of business cards so that they can be sent for printing. Again, I'll tap Place on the Tools panel and Place from File. Then I'll locate the business card designs and select the front and back designs. Then I'll tap Open. Like before, the images will appear on the Place panel. I'll select both of the images by pressing Select All at the top of the panel. Now before I place the images, I'm going to use the Repeat feature found on the Context toolbar. This feature allows me to duplicate an image that is being placed using Autoflow, creating multiple copies of the same image. I'll choose to repeat this image 10 times, which will match our 10 picture frames. Then I'll press OK and tap on the first picture frame on the page. Multiple copies of the first design will be placed into the frames and the layout will be repeated to accommodate the copies of the other side of the business card. And there we go, we've created a double-sided business card layout or proof sheet that is ready to be sent to print. Finally, we can also use Autoflow to populate a document with pages from a PDF file. Here I have an architectural brochure and I need to add eight pages from a PDF file. So I've created two empty pages in the center of the document with a picture frame on each page. I'll press place and then place from files and then locate my PDF file. Like before, it has been loaded onto the place panel. I can long press on the document to select an individual page to place or alternatively, I can expand the PDF so that I can choose multiple pages. For this example, I'll choose eight pages from the document, specifically pages 18 to 25. I'll press the first button, which will allow me to select multiple pages. Once selected, I'll tap on the first blank page that I want to place the document into, and it will automatically flow the other selected pages onto the document. 
and we can close the place panel. And that's how you can use Autoflow to flow text, images, and PDF documents onto automatically generated pages. Thanks for watching.